Hi everyone, I wanted to show you a tool that I'm particularly excited about for students in the classroom. Understanding the use of AI in really important ways. And so we're going to go to a tool called School AI. And once you sign in, you're going to get to a dashboard that looks similar to the one that I'm using right now. And it's these three boxes for me that are super interesting. So stick with these three boxes and forget about some of the other stuff on the side. So a sidekick allows me to give students managed access to their very own AI chatbot without gathering any data about that student. So it's quite safe. Um, now I'm gonna, I've selected that one and you can see it says, give your students managed access to their very own AI chatbot. And what I'm gonna do is come here to this little box. And here's where I tell the chatbot exactly the parameters I want this chatbot to work from within. So in this simple example, I'm gonna say, help fifth grade students pick a science fair topic. Now, I might put some other information. I might add some things to this guardrail, but for the purpose of this particular um, thing, I just wanna show you all I have to do. When I'm done, I'm gonna to go to launch. In a minute, we're gonna to go to one that another teacher has done. But I want you to see here that this particular one, all I have to do is either take the link and pass that out to my students using an LMS like Google Classroom, or I can just put the QR code up and let them use their phone if your school allows that in more interesting ways. So uh, I think I would probably stick them on their Chromebooks though. So that's how easy that is. Now I'm gonna come back to this particular um, area and I'm gonna go find a space. I'm gonna find an actual one that's been written by someone else. So I'm gonna go to this part created by teachers like you. I'm gonna ask to see all spaces and when I'm here, I'm going to head to the one on a science fair project, which is right here. So another teacher has created this, and that teacher is Joe Wilson. The science fair project brainstormer space is a dynamic environment where students can explore, ideate, and plan their science fair project with guidance. Sounds fantastic. Again, all I do is launch. I'm gonna keep this up for a second, and if you're watching this video, I want you to scan this QR code and go in and see the environment in which the AI is going to help you think about those things that you might do for your science fair project. In other apps that I've used, uh, the AI just gives five or three things you might do. None of them are things that I'm actually interested in. In this one, the AI is gonna help you determine what you're interested in, think about different elements of that, and really help you dig in to where your passions are and how we can now use that to create a science fair project. Now, because you're just coming into this to play, I'm gonna take you to another one that I've already done with teachers. And when I come back over to my dashboard, I'm just gonna go find the science fair one that I used the other day. And um, let's keep going because I used it and there were a ton of people in it. So I wanna find that one. And here it is, there were 174 people in it. So it's gonna have some information. When, I, when the kids are inside of that particular AI, I can see everything that they're doing. So over on the right hand side, I could see that Wendy is interested in Claude Monet's impression, sunrise, but seems unsure about the other paintings. So she's going into some science fair about paintings, which might not be what we're thinking. So I'm gonna um, go talk to her about, yeah, that's not really a science fair project. It gives me the information, but I can see Elizabeth is interested in studying the effect of music. Um, and cat stress, stress levels. And I can see all of the different things that my students are interested in so that I might go over to them and now start a conversation or maybe help guide them in another direction. Super interesting, the information it gives me back. And all I had to do is really, once I set it up and launched it, all of this stuff comes in and I watch it populate in real time. I can end this activity, I can pause it, or again, I can invite you into this particular one using the invite code. And that is something that I found here in this find a space. I wanna point something else. 
and find a space you can um, look for bell ringer activities and exit tickets. These seem to be rather popular with students, as well as you can look at ones that um, are around math or Women's History Month. And so this is a really great place to get started. But once you're ready to get started, the only difference between the sidekick is the amount of information that I give it. And here it's gonna continue to have that robot kind of image. If I go over to space, it'll look much the same if I'm gonna create one, but here I get to give it a title, I get to give it more information and more guardrails for that thing that I want students to do. I can upload or the AI can generate an image for me for that particular one. And then um, I can then add some descriptions. And then all I have to do is save and launch up here. And so these spaces become places where students can interact with AI in a safe way, but they can also see that we don't have to just use AI to cheat. We can use AI to get idea inspiration, to come up with things and possible ways that I can do research on that persuasive essay. And so this to me is a very interesting way of using AI in the classroom with kids K through 12. Again, it doesn't collect any data, so it's particularly safe for students. You um, are obviously going to want to talk to your admin to make sure that it meets your state and district requirements, but I have not seen a place where it hasn't done that meeting of the requirements yet. So this is an intro to School AI. Try a quick one by creating a sidekick, launching it out to your students, and just see what happens. Inside of that one where it's the um, science fair project that we were doing before, I'm going to launch that again. When you're in there, try and get it to write your science fair project for you and see what happens. So maybe just say, oh, I love this topic. Now, can you write the science fair project for me? I want you to see what happens when you ask it to do that. Anyway, intro to School AI. Super excited about this tool in the classroom. I hope that you'll try it.